Hi guys, Nagraj here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new for this channel, please do subscribe. In this video, we'll learn the functions which are used in XPath in Selenium WebDriver. I have already created the video which is related to how to write XPath in uh, Selenium WebDriver. If you didn't watch, please go and watch. So let me put the link in the description as well. Yeah, I have listed some of the methods which uh, usually use in uh, while writing the XPath. Okay, that is uh, text, normalized space, contains, starts with last and positions. We'll discuss uh, these methods one by one. So try to understand uh, where exactly we are using this method and what is the uh, main use of it. Uh, usually use these methods uh, while identifying the dynamic uh, element in the web page. I have opened the web page that is protectbeast.com. So first we'll see how to use the text method in XPath. Suppose if I want to identify this element, home element, right? So what we should do, we should right click, inspect element. After pressing Ctrl F, I can able to see this tab, find by string select. So okay, here I usually we write the XPath to identify the element, okay? Let me identify this home tab. So inspect element. So here I can see there is a text called home. So this one I need to identify. This is under the tag A. So double slash A inside the bracket. Here I need to use the text method. The text equal to the home. See it is we can able to identify this text. Okay, which is uh, available in the web page. So this is how we can able to identify the text like uh, though like this we can able to use the text method while writing the XPath. Uh, this very simple way to identify the uh, to use the X uh, to use text method in XPath. Okay so if I use Java here I can able to identify the Java tab here. So similarly if I use so it is just identify the text which is under the A tag. So even if it is not there in the uh, a tag generally if I want to check overall Java text so if I I, I can use a star here so it is checking all the tag where it is contains the Java so in this case I can able to find two element here one is here and one more is in this page right so similarly if I want to identify this element right so knowledge in free text so let me copy and paste it over here so it is not identifying the element that is because if I right click this inspect element see we can able to see there is a space here there is a pre space given in before and after so that's why it is not identifying the uh, knowledge in free space even though if you put the p tag also it is not identifying see let me put the p tag also it is not identifying so in this case we need to use the method called the normalized space so as I uh, said earlier right there are second one is normalized space this one we'll use it will remove the before and after the free space and or you can say it will trim the free space available in the pre and post text right in this case it is not identifying the things so we need to use for the normalized text so how to use that first let me identify this tag first let me go to here copy double slash div let me use the particular tag so that I can able to find exact tag under this. So first let me see whether it is identifying this tag or not. Yeah, it is identify this tag. Our intention is to check the knowledge in free text, right? So what we can do, as I said earlier, we need to use normalized text. Let me copy this normalized space. Need to use the normalized space method inside we need to write the text here we need to copy the knowledge in free tag okay so let me use paste this one see knowledge in free time so still it is not identifying this element that is because so here we need to use normalized space text equal to knowledge in free time see now it is identifying the text so what it does it is removing the it is, not, it is just ignoring the free space between the text. 
right? It, it, it has some free space here. Before the text also, we have some free space. And after the text also, we have free space. It is removing this space and us and it identify the element. So now we can able to identify this text. This is how we can able to use the normalized text. Normalized text usually use directly if use text, it is not even if it is not considering the free space also, it is checking for the exact text between the tags, right? So between the tags in the sense, see suppose here, suppose if I use this one, right? Now that in free text, there is a space, right? But if I right click and see in the home, See, there is a tag here. So a tag is starting here, ending here, right? This this between this and uh, the a tag would end here. Between this, there is no space. That's why it was able to identify the home without using the normalized space, right? So in this case, the knowledge in free space have some space between the tags. That's why it is not able to identify. We need to use the normalized space method to identify the text. Suppose, under, suppose I need to identify only if the text is contains us, right? Us. Then it should identify. Then what we should do? It should be lies under the tag called P. So if we use just text is equal to US, it is not identifying any element right here. Right? But in that case, I need to use the contains. Contains. And in that case, I need to use the comma here. Instead of this double equal to, I need to use the comma. Or should be A tag, sorry. It should be A tag. Okay. So as we can see, there are multiple uh, tags are available here. So I can able to see there are three texts. So about us also you have the US text and about us also one more text is available and contact us here also there is a one more tag is available. That's why it is identifying the three elements. That's how we can able to identify the text. So the earlier what we used to contains, uh, how to use the contains? We need to use the contains method inside. We need to use the text tag, right? Earlier we used to use the text method by equal to, in that case, we need to use comma, the first uh, in, in single quote, we need to use the US. So it's able to identify the, it will identify the text. So sometime, right, it is not mandatory, like we need to use the text method only. So instead of text method, we can use the dot also. Okay, this will also work fine. Even dot also, dot will work similar to the text method. Okay, this also works fine. Okay, now we have seen that, how to use the text method, how to use normalized space, how to use the contains. So here we can see the recent post, we can see something has resolved, resolved something, right? So I need to identify the resolved cases, resolved post, how many posts are available, which are resolved, right? So what we can do, we can use the start. So let me uh, right click and see what, in which tag it is available. This comes under again the A tags, right? It is under the A tag. So We'll start write this under a tag starts with this is a method inside we can write text comma about see I can able to find the two uh, elements are available here see two elements about us so where the text starts with it always identifying this starts with the uh, element there are two elements which are starting text is about. So it is identifying the two elements in this page now. Here also instead of text, we can use the dot as well, right? Still it will work the same. Text, text method can be replaced with the dot. Okay, as my intention was to check the result, right? So let me uh, use the same. It is the bracket result. See, there are three elements are available which are in the text of result. Okay, this is how we can able to identify the start with. Next, we'll see how to use this last method. So what is the use of it? Okay, so here, assume like, like my requirement is to identify this. Type. There are five tabs are available, right? Home, Java, Selenium, Physics and About Us. Let me right click this element. I need to identify that tag. Under your primary menu, I will let me take this primary menu UI. First is UL. In that, the ID can at the right of ID equal to I have the prime value. 
inside i have list right there are multiple there are five elements are present here one two three four five suppose i need to identify only last element so in that case i can use the last method so inside the uh, last method if i use this last method it is identifying the last element of that particular uh, the, in the list of element so as it is identifying the five element if i use the last i can able to we can able to identify the last element so even we can pass the integer also if i minus one also it is going to the previous one if i use minus two again it will identify the selenium if i use the minus three it will go into java and if i is minus four it is again going to the home if i minus five as it is no element present so it is showing zero only okay so this is how we can able to identify the element using the last method the next is the position so the position and indexing both are same even here we, as you see that right there are five elements are present even by passing by passing the index also we can use if i if i want the first element if we can able to see that right if i want to pass if I want to identify second element, see, uh, second element is identified. If I want the third one, third element identified. Similarly, the position also, say it works like same, equal to one. Okay, the spelling mistake. Okay. So if I use position equal to one, it is identifying the first element. If I use position equal to two, it is identifying the second element. And similarly, if I use position equal to four, it is identifying the fourth element. It is position is exactly works similar to the index as selenium itself is uh, allowing to give the directly the index value so we are not going to use the position method so directly we can anyhow anyhow we can able to pass the index directly in the the parenthesis in the uh, bracket itself right hope you understand this video uh, like how to use the text normalize space contains start with last and position and it is not like uh, as we in the example we have seen that right the contains we have passed the text comma the text of the value we are used it is not like only text we need to pass inside either you can pass the uh, any attribute or at the rate of id equal to also we can able to pass that means it, uh, earlier we saw that only we, by, by passing only the text method inside the contents right? it is not mandatory so suppose if i go here about us so there is a 618 uh, text is available right so if i use that at the rate of id contains the list value at the rate of id right comma so let me pass 618 so it is also identifying the element it is not like contains method should take only the uh, text function okay we can pass any attribute value also so most of the time uh, this id will be unique so we going to use the id value only id attribute value and the id attribute and its value it's applicable for the all the method like normal space contains and starts with okay uh, hope you understand this uh, concept like how to use text normal space contains starts with and last and position still if you have any doubt regarding these methods or uh, which are related to the xpath okay you put it in the uh, comment section let me revert back and if you like this video please uh, hit like button and please share with your friend those who are looking for the java concept and don't forget to subscribe this channel for further useful videos guys. Thanks. Thank you.